guys will this tutorial in this tutorial you are going to learn data analysis with sql uh, in this tutorial uh this is lesson one in lesson one i'm going to show you how to connect mysql database in jupyter notebook and analyze your data with uh using uh, sql and python on jupyter notebook watch all tutorials and learn how to analyze data with sql and uh, jupyter notebook okay in this lesson i'm going to show you how to connect mysql database in jupyter notebook let us assume you have installed mysql database in in your computer and uh, i'm going to show you how to install required libraries from uh, on jupyter notebook using pip command okay step one is install the required libraries in this uh, step you are going to install those libraries just uncomment those uh, and, and uh, run this step that is pip install pi mysql this is a library that's going to connect uh, python with mysql and also install ipython uh, dash sql this is also a, uh, this is also help us to connect uh, to mysql database on jupyter notebook jupyter notebook and the third is mysql client and install uh mysql client so thus three libraries are very important for connecting mysql database in jupyter notebook okay once you have successfully installed all those require requirements the next step is about connect to mysql in this step first import the libraries pi mysql and pandas as usual and then in, uh, initialize the attributes that we are going to use to connect uh, to MySQL on Jupyter Notebook. The first attribute is database name. Just uh, uh, define your database name, which is created on your MySQL database. Your database created in MySQL. You can create a demi data on uh, a demi database on your mysql database and db host uh, this is a local host by default it is a local host of mysql database the host of or the database host of uh, default mysql is local host just uh, and db username the default is roots of for mysql database if you change it the username of your My, uh, mysql database you can just uh define uh the username correctly and uh, database mysql uh by default it is mt so if if you provide password for your mysql database for example i have provided a password for mysql database so i just uh put the password for the database if uh, you didn't uh, set the password for your MySQL database, you can leave MBT this part without just uh, leave it MBT. Okay, now uh, I'm going to just show you. Then run this cell uh, and also run this. The next step is about connecting make a database connection uh, just we can put our connection a string in the try cache exception because if there uh, there is an error we can smoothly understand the errors without uh, any difficulty if there is no error it, it's going to be connected uh, to your database okay then we are going to create a connection for uh, our database pi mysql we are we have already imported and installed 
this library dot connect uh, this connect function uh, takes parameters the parameters we are going to uh, specify or pass into these functions are host the host is the db host we have already uh, defined in here that is uh, we just take the variable from this initialization and port is very important the default port of mysql database is 3306 and username uh, that is root already defined the default username for mysql is root and also password password is db password uh, as i i told you earlier uh, if you didn't set a password for your mysql database you can leave this mbt and you can assign that variable to this i have already set a password for my database so i just uh, provided the password for database and the last uh, attribute or parameter is uh, db, db or database name for my uh, in my in this exercise i am using the database name is gms i have already database uh, created this database in my square database uh, okay then i can run this if all are correct it, it doesn't uh, uh, just uh, print an error and we can make it uh, if it is connect we uh, it's run successfully connected okay once we connected to our database the next step is about uh, read data from database table and display on uh, uh, data frame okay to read this, we are going to use pandas uh, data frame and pd dot read uh, underscore SQL underscore query. And inside this function, we are going to write the uh, SQL query. Uh, a SQL query is, for example, if you want to select uh, data from the table, select all from appointment. Appointment is table name. Just you provide you that correct table name you created on your database in your MySQL database. Then in separate by comma and pass the connection string. Connection string we have already uh, defined here. So the connection string is con or C-O-N-N. -O -O -N. Then once we just correctly uh, specify this, then we can run this and it's going to read the data from appointment table and uh, going to display on the data frame, data frame. And we can check that. All right, so this is one way we can read data. We use any SQL uh, queries to read, to retrieve data from uh, MySQL database. And it's going to display on the data frame, data frame. So all the data, the table data are retrieved. You can uh, actually select uh, specific uh, columns only. For example, from this uh, column, I can just read full name and sex. All right, just you can select uh, specific columns from your database table. Okay uh and another way of to connect to mysql is uh, using sql extensions rather than using uh pi mysql so let's try to see the step one is just load sql extension using a dollar symbol load xt load underscore xt extension then sql sql and once we load this uh if this is not correct it's going to generate an error if it is correct it doesn't print any error that is okay now it is okay and step two we are going to connect to the mysql uh, database so we just use dollar symbol sql and mysql mysql plus 
MySQL DB. This is the way we connect, separate by column, for our table for our slash. Then username, this is the database username. That is the default database username for MySQL database is root, separate by colon. And the password we can provide, if you have no password for your database, you can uh, just leave MBT this part, right? And add symbol, then the local host. Local host is the host name of your database and forward slash, then database name. For example, in my uh, case, I have a database GMS in my square database, then run this code. If it is successfully connected, it doesn't uh, generate any error. And we are going to read data from the table from uh, GMS data, uh, database. And to read data from that, we can use dollar symbol SQL, select all from appointment. For example, we can run this. Yeah, one row is affected, which means one row is available and retrieved from appointment. So that we, we got the same result, uh, the, same, the same result with this one. And we can also select some uh, specific columns, for example, full name and sex from appointment. All right, just like this. So those are uh, the way how we can connect uh, to MySQL database on Jupyter Notebook using Python, and we can analyze our data from any uh, SQL database. Next time we will uh, uh, see another topic about uh, data analysis using MySQL. For today, thanks for watching.